You're watching Different World TV. This is part three of herbs we're taking to boost immunity and take preemptive steps against this invisible enemy. You know, one of the primary objectives here is to have a cabinet of tinctures, a cabinet of herbs that you can go to when in need. And to start off, I'm going to show you some of the herbs that I've been taking. I uh, started off with this purple reishi. Now, reishi is an ultimate tonic herb. Reputation as the mushroom of immortality goes back thousands of years. Uh, it's a very revered type of reishi today. Purple reishi is so rare that most herbalists have never seen it. It's great for adaptogenic properties and promotes longevity. Next up, we have Hishu Wu. Now, this is known as a very potent herb for strengthening the internal system. Uh, it strengthens the blood. It strengthens the knees and back, uh, supports blood production, helps protect the brain, and supports healthy aging. Um, this Hishu Wu is made with eight-year-old semi-wild Hishu Wu woots. So it's very potent in terms of the Hishu Wu uh, ability. Um, next, we have organic goji drops. And... The key about these drops is they are a huge antioxidant. So when you need to eliminate free radicals from the system, this is absolutely one of the tinctures that you want to go to to get those toxins out of the blood, out of the skin, out of the organs, uh, rejuvenate the liver and kidneys. Uh, organic goji is something I put in my tea almost every day um, and suggest you do the same if you can. Uh, next up is the top favorite of mine, the Eight Immortals Drop. So this is a product that sort of has everything all in one. If you're looking for something for immune uh, tonifying, spirit lifting, mind strengthening, you know, this is the ultimate adaptogen. It supports optimal stress response. So in times like these, when you have to think on your toes constantly, you never know what's coming up next. This is what you want to be taking, dropping in your water to make sure you stay on top of it. Now, Shashandra drops are something that uh, many people have heard about Shashandra berries, but these drops in particular are extremely necessary to have in your cupboard during these times. Uh, you can always fall back on Shashandra drops because they are uh, a fruit that supports all 12 organ systems. This is an extremely potent antioxidant, a brain tonic. Um, it's known as the quintessence of tonic herbs. So make sure you get some Shashandra berry. Now we're moving on to Supreme Shin Drops. Uh, this is another tonic that I would suggest for stress adaptogenic properties. So adaptogenic means when life throws a wrench in your plans, you're not just going to give up. You're going to find a breakthrough solution. And this tonic helps ease the mind so you can do that. This is why you want to have this on on board so you can manage your stress levels. Uh, now, one of the key go-tos, this is an everyday type of tonic that you put in water, you put in tea, uh, Spring Dragon Longevity. Now, just the sound of that sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Longevity drops, this is the healthiest tea in the world. Now, I put a few of these drops in my water, I put a few of these drops in my tea. Um, it is a very powerful adaptogenic action uh, with herbal protection as well. So you know that you're getting a well-rounded dose of herbs here. Um, free the lungs. Now, I'm showing you the free the lungs here, and you can see the extensive list in the uh, ingredients. Now, free the lungs is key because if you're a smoker, uh, cannabis user, CBD flower user, you want to have free the lungs available so that you can rejuvenate the lung system, tonify the lung system, to make sure that doing your yoga, doing your hiking, that your air intake and your air exit is well pronounced. You know, let's say well pronounced. Um, now, this Tibetan magic right here, this ET, is something that you just want to have around if you are interested in boosting your creative output. You know, this will really sync the synapses in the mind to make sure that you can go from thought to execution to follow up. So uh, this Tibetan magic really puts your mind in a sense of ease um, that allows you to think and concentrate and focus on what you need to do so you can get to step A uh, and get to step B. Now, all of these herbs are taken, you know, interspersed throughout the day in different teas, uh, in different water mixtures. So I encourage you, look up these properties, look up these herbs. These are just some tips that maybe you can consider uh, to adapt your life since we're now in an environment that's ever changing, that's possibly changed forever, you have to make sure what you're taking into your system can help you adapt to the surrounding environment, but not only adapt and survive, but thrive. This has been a different world.tv transmission. Please share this broadcast with all who are on the same frequency. Peace, love, and overstanding. Different world.tv.